Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a game in MIT App Inventor. So here, I'll show you the demo. So here you can see that's the start button. So I'm going to just click on it. So you have to click on this thereof to save from this octopus. You can see game over because they both are collapsed. All right. So just click on again. We will start this game. Start and you will see here. Click on it again and again, again and again, and your Xerox will save. Now, after whenever you stop the clicking, then Xerox falling down. So you have to just don't stop to click on the Xerox. And in the same time, our octopus speed will increase automatically whenever we click on this Xerox. Okay, so that's very basic game. Uh, if I'm going to just stop it. And you will see this one is play. Okay, collapse. So that's game over. So we will create this game here. So let's start. So go to the my project. So here you can see it's a new project. I'm going to just enter here. Octopus game. Octopus game. Fine. So now you can see that's the screen here. Now I'm going to drag and drop two layouts. One is horizontal and second one is also horizontal. And make it high is 50% and width is fill parent. Fine. And click on this another one, fill parent. And width is also fill parent. Like this. Fine. Now I'm going to change this background color to black and here I'm going to drag and drop one button to start this game and this one is should be in a center alignment and horizontal to click on it and this should be in a center this one is center fine just click on this button and change this text is start fine you can change this uh, button color also if you want if you wish you can go to the custom color you can choose according to your color i love this style color click on ok and i love white text color in tile background that's fine that's look good now we need to use here one thing that one is canvas this is most important in our game drag and drop this canvas and you will see here height is fill parent with is also fill parent like this now here we are using the image speed so drag and drop this one is image speed that one is something a giraffe and second one is that one is our evil so we will use here two images so first we need to change the a background of a canvas so click on canvas and you will see here one background image click on it upload file choose file i already have files like that one is dt image click on this button and click on ok wait some seconds and you will see here that one is background image fine now another one i'm going to change this screen background color also so you will see click on screen and none to bg make it like this fine now we have to change this image spread one so i'm going to rename this image split to like uh, zera and second one is evil evil and second one is evil fine now i'm going to change this zera image picture upload file you can choose any file and you can choose any image okay so that one is unnamed is zera click on okay and okay i have to set this height is something 100 pixel and width is something 100 pixel and that's my zera here it's too big actually so i'm going to make it 50 50 So fifty, and then that one is also fifty. Okay, it's pretty small right now, and it's look great. Now click on this another evil image and find out 
your evil choose file i already have this one so i'm going to use evil find open click on okay great i have to change this height also this should be also 50 and width is also 50 fine great now uh, what should i have to do we need to go to the block section now and whenever we click on the button okay we need one timer also here okay timer timer is important go to the central section you will see here clock drag and drop this this one is non-visible component okay and now go to the block section whenever we click on the button okay so drag and drop this i'm going to rename this button also so no one will confuse start button this button name is start right now okay and go to the blog whenever we click on start button dot click so make sure whenever you rename the name so start b t n this one is the format of the renaming okay so you will know that uh, that's the button start b t n it means that one is the button whenever we click on the button go to the design section we have to uh, first we have to display this horizontal bar so this one is visible or always and this one is visible not like so our first screen this will look like this go to the block section we have to disable horizontal element 2 visible should be off so this one is false and copy and paste this we had a uh, horizontal element one visible is true fine so whenever we click on ok so this one will hide and this one will show right so go to the block section again now whenever we click on button so our start evil will start moving so you will see here one speed option you will see that one set evil speed is so i'm going to set this evil speed so first i have to initialize the variable for the speed so because this speed will increase okay so in a slice global name is something speed and this one value is something i'm going to use here five Max function click on 5 that one so that one is we have initialized the global value and we will define this value to get global speed like this fine now we have to start the clock also and but before it uh, I'm going to just test this so click on start and you will see this one it will move in the wrong direction right so we have to make it in the right direction so what we will do go to the design section we have to click on able and this one is 180 fine and whenever we click on a star you will see this one in good direction right direction now now what should we have to do go to the block section and here we will click on the giraffe and whenever someone click on the giraffe it means giraffe dot touched whenever giraffe dot touched then then call giraffe dot move to xy position so what should we have to do so we have to define xy position here so x1 is something 2 and the y y1 is something we have to keep this value so what will uh, what i will do go to the max function and you will see here a uh, minus because uh, why i'm using here minus I I, i'll tell you wait i'm going to just put this here this one is something Two or 20 or 10 whatever you want and here I'm going to get the value of evil y value is something where 
here fine so why i'm using here minus and why i'm using this so that's an easy way because whenever we click on the giraffe so giraffe will uh, grow up like this will uh, giraffe will move in the top position right so uh, what we will do whenever we click on this the so y values decrease so whenever y values decrease our uh, our giraffe will move in the top position like see whenever i'm going to just show you the demo how it's work refresh click on see this one is moving right so now what should i have to do we have to use here one timer that one decrease that one is decrease the y value increase the y value so giraffe automatically going down okay now we are using here one timer so whenever we use your timer right here and time interval is something 50 you can use according uh, and timer enable is off right now so we have to select the clock and here we need to enable timer and this one is something here like you. fine now we have to code for the collection so whenever whenever giraffe will whenever collide with the collide with other uh, like collide with the evil so what we will do so we have to do here one condition how how to determine like they uh, they are they both are collide so we use here if condition like this and whenever giraffe dot collide with call here you need to call giraffe and you will find here collide with option collide with so if condition if giraffe dot collide with and here is something i will evil 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 this one ever so collide with evil so whenever giraffe with giraffe collide with evil then our game is over so what we will do set horizontal is is true and copy and paste this one and wait some seconds I will do like this so you can see the code properly fine like it's good now fine and horizontal arrangement one is going to be false right and then we will change our button text so click on the start button and you will see here set button the text not text color we have to change the text select text here and we will change the text to game is over right key game is over click here to start again fine now it's fine now whenever now if our giraffe will save then what we will do whenever if they are not collide then what what we will do then whenever evil evil dot age reached so whenever evil if reach the age then we will move is this to the new position it this one is dot call call evil dot move and we will define their position like x and y so i'm going to copy this math number and here copy again and paste and this one is something you can define with your own so i'm going to use here 282 with 201 why i'm using this i'm going to the design section and whenever you can see here evil position right now is 235 and 132 235 132 i'm going to do this 235 122 or something 132 okay so this one is 132 
fine okay so whenever timer is called like this one so what what happened so click on this and i'm going to just up this code here okay so you can see properly this one clock code i'm going to zoom it like this so whenever when clocked uh, one dot timer so what we will do call call a giraffe call giraffe call 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 giraffe dot move to we have to move our giraffe to uh, to the top direction right so okay it's i'm going to fix it as a so this one is fine but two and this one is going to be something so what we will do in a y section if you have to increase the y value so we have to get so we have to get the giraffe y position uh, so click on giraffe and you will get the y position here like this get this value and uh, we use here maths function maths and plus 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 this one is plus fine zero of the y and we will increase it with the one fine so this will dic uh, this will so this timer will automatically uh, move our giraffe in the down right so let's see how it's work click on start and you will see here okay this one is not moving game is over click here to start again it's move only one time and then again not moving so let's see why this is happening so uh, value we have to just refine the value x to 282 and y 201 fine so what uh, mistake we have done is that one is we are getting the value of average so we will so we have to change it to giraffe because we have to uh, move our giraffe in the top right so we click on start again and you will see click on it click on it click on it fine a giraffe will save it's going slow uh, down very slow so i'm going to uh, change the value of 50 interval to 10 and let's see again how it's work click on it start and this one speed is not uh, uh, very fast to go to the block section and you will see timer is something zero of y value increased by 10 so i'm going to increase by 10 then let's see how it's work i'm going to refresh this and let's see okay is this one oh, it's too 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 much fast it's too too fast so i'm going to decrease it by five maybe this will work Come to start again okay this one is fine so we have to save this giraffe if we are not able to save it so game is over fine so that's very easy way to create this game you can expand this game as much as you can because so you can make here one scoreboard and you can here we use only one evil so you can make it there a lot of evil and uh, there are a lot of things you can do so if you have any doubt you can comment on this video and i will definitely reply you thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video share this video and have a nice day be safe bye bye